Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be seeing how to make a simple text editor using wavy.net. So let's get started. First of all, create a new project, Visual Basic Windows Application Form Editor. Okay, I'll give the name editor and I'll be creating the project. Okay, now just resize it and now we're going to the properties and I will change the form title to text editor. Okay, now you can see the title has been changed over here. Okay, I'll be using a few more tools that is a button tool and I'll be creating two copy of that and one is for saving and one is for opening and I'll be also using a text box um, over here okay. and also I'll be using two more things that is a open file dialog and a save file dialog that is just double click on it and it gets added now over here I'll be just arranging everything from the beginning and okay and you can see I cannot resize it it only supports a single line over here you can tick check on the multi line so that it supports multiple line textual entries okay okay and here we go and now on moving on to the properties of button one I'll change it to open open file and this one to save file okay save file every basic editor has these two dialogues opening and saving a file okay now also we have two events that are associated with the save file dialog and the open file dialog uh, I'll show you as we move on okay okay double click on the open file open file button and the save file button we have two uh, button events on click events for that and also we have an event associated with the save file dialog and also we have an event associated with open file dialog okay that's it now we will be creating everything here before that I need to import something that is mm, imports system dot IU these are required for using stream reader and stream writer class which is used for accessing files okay so let's get started first of all give here an on error resume next this is to prevent your app from crashing in between okay so don't use it while you are debugging your app okay now using I'll give some name I'll give some open file not 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 over here it's not over here it's, it's the form load action I don't have to do anything over here on error resume next and open using I need to save file uh, I use the button tool for saving file that is uh, save file as new stream it's saving so stream writer and I'll give the path of the file full path of the file over here and also for open using open file open file as three as news news stream stream reader for opening file you okay. I forgot to use the end using okay I will be creating a variable that can be accessed by all the functions that is the data member of the class I'll be creating a variable which is the data member of the class and I'll be declaring a string string declare file path file path as string okay that's it now I'll give it, give it the file path over here okay that's it now I haven't given the given it a value right so I'll be getting that from the open or save file dialog that's it so I'll need to pop up the open file dialog so that I will, so open file dialog one dot show dialog and now I need to open save file dialog one dot show dialog that's it and now let's just run it open file dialog will be popping up and save file dialog will be popping up that's it 
and after that whenever you can I will run it once more whenever you see this okay we have these two events over here and whenever you get a pop-up box and whenever open dialog and whenever you click on this this file this one sorry this function is gonna be get will be invoked that is this function and also whenever you click on the save button this function is gonna be invoked so I'll be just closing it for the time being I just wanted to show you okay now file path equals save file dialog one dot file name this will be returning the complete path along with the name of the file okay um, here also I'll be using the same open file dialog one dot file name that's it so after this the function whenever you click on over here this one gets involved and whenever you press the open button include the complete path including the file name um, is assigned to this variable so now you have the file name with you so that in, including the complete path of the file so you can now just proceed saving it or reading it okay now we'll be writing it uh, opening it first open file dialog one dot read to end okay it will be reading the file completely not just line by line also you have the provision to read line by line you can use read line okay read line and also you have the read to and i'll be using it for this tutorial and uh, i need to assign the string that i obtained from there to the text box so text box one dot text is equal to open file dot read to end that's it and over here uh, save file one dot write line it's a function or we need to pass the string so text will be passing on the text content of the text uh, text box one dot text that's it now you're ready just we'll see running it okay now i will be going on to the d drive over here new you can see okay now i have i will be removing this line and save file as some dot text don't forget to give your extension it's not providing any extension by default press enter now I'll be just clearing everything and be opening the sum file. Let me see. Okay, sum dot text. You can see you have read the file. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.